Morgan. Morgan. And if your name is not Morgan, my name is Todd. And I'm Jeannie. And we are Empty, empty Besties. besties. <laughs> Which means we are empty nesters and best friends, as long as I keep making these videos and taking my wife out to do things. Yes. We also do these videos to show our daughter Morgan what we're up to since she's abandoned us to die. And she wants a college. That's a technicality. <laughs> so today's adventure is going to take us out on the town to explore the best Bloody Marys the city has to offer. Yes. And we're doing this around Valentine's Day. You love to do things on Valentine's Day. <laughs> and you love to do things and I love the to day do before. Five <laughs> weeks before Valentine's Day so that I don't hit Valentine prices. Because I love you every day of the week. Yes, and you also love to save money every day of the week. Mm, I do. Yes. We've gone out on Valentine's Day. Yes. You've taken me places where we eat in people's houses for $500 a plate. <laughs> it's not people's houses. It's just a supper club. It was a little small intimate gathering. I could have made it at home <laughs> if I wanted to sit in somebody's breezeway. You could not have made it at home. And with that being said, this is our Bloody, Bloody Mary Valentine. Valentine. Before we get started, if you like these types of videos about empty nesters with nothing better to do than, than make videos, I guess, <laughs> hit subscribe, like it, comment, share, you do, know, something. do something with it. Yeah. So Bloody Marys, in general, I'm a fan. I don't know if you were always a fan. You know, I always thought it was the grown-up drink to drink. It's just an alcoholic breakfast. It, it, it is. Yeah, it, it is. is. And I think what we found that in our Bloody Marys, we like them to be thick, Thick. Spicy. But that's um, thick as spicy. And a cornucopia of things to dine on. Yeah, a cornucopia. Like a Lunchable. Yeah. Like it's everything's up in there. I got the juice box, I got my cheese, I got my meat, my cracker, and I'm num 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 num. Yes. If you've got a serious Bloody Mary, you don't need to order anything else. It's lunch. Although you will find that we did order plenty of other things. We did. All right, so our first stop is a place called Booker's. Yes. And it's right in our neighborhood. So it's around like 50th in, in Baltimore and West Philly. Very cool place. But well, we never had the Bloody Mary, which is weird. I've had the Bloody Mary there before. Oh. The regular Bloody Mary. Oh. So this time, we walked up in there looking for a Bloody Mary and come to find out that they've got a Booker's loaded Bloody Mary. This thing had two big old shrimp. Scrumps. Mm-hmm. Big chunks of bacon. Bacon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It had a lot of horseradish in it. That horseradish is the key. When you mix it up, you see the horseradish swirling around, you know it's gonna be good. Ooh, he this is spice, this some heat. And then to go along with our Bloody Marys, because we knew we were gonna have a long day of uh drinking bloody Marys. Of the Marys. We got some deviled eggs. With all that being said, I mean, you can probably tell how excited we were about these Bloody Marys. Oh, that's good. And again, we've never had the loaded Bloody Marys never. there before. It's a buffet. It's a that thing <laughs> is a buffet. I mean, two shrimps and some bacon. I loved it. I think when all said and done, this Bloody Mary was the one to beat. Yes. If you're out in West Philly, go to Booker's and get the Booker's loaded Bloody Mary. So the second place we went was called Urban Farmer. It is in Center City, Philadelphia, mm. the old Four Seasons Hotel. Also the place that I used to take Morgan for little fancy Sunday teas Ooh, they yeah. used to have. Mm. When we went, I was like, oh, we used to sit over here and we would dress up mm -hmm. and it was really cute. So the general vibe in that place, I thought it was cool. It was an urban farmhouse. It was cheap. urban farming. The, yeah, the was, chairs didn't match. Yeah, the mixed match furniture and yeah, all that stuff. Um, yeah. But it's a nice place. So we ordered the Bloody Marys, and after that first one, I thought today was gonna be gangbusters. Yeah, yeah. This second one was, was a little um, not as exciting. It wasn't thick. That was the issue with it. Right, right, right. I felt like there was too much ice, and was there any food? There was a lime and there were olives. From what I recall, it, it, it tasted a little more fruitier. It did, it had a, a fruitier taste. Look, if you're not into spicy, It'd be perfect for it, you. It might be perfect for you, but it's good. I never met a Bloody Mary I didn't like. We did follow that up with some food. The atmosphere was great. The space is really nice. Yes. Not quite sure where this one's gonna land on the list, but um, definitely not at the top. No, not at the top. 
All right, so the next place we went to is a place called Attico, and it's a rooftop bar at the Cambria Hotel. You gotta take an elevator up to the rooftop. Oh, and they even carge it, like right there. Yeah, they carge the it elevator. before you get to the elevator. Everybody has to be 21, FYI for that. This place is definitely younger, hipper. This really seemed kind of like the place to be yeah, on yeah, like yeah. a Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. They took us outside, and you know, it's still cold it's here so in cold. Philadelphia. Yeah but they have all these little plastic tents. Yeah, we're in one of the bubbles with the heat lamp, so we were good. So once again, we sat down, we ordered ourselves the Bloody Marys that they had. It had the little rolled up cucumber. Right, 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 swirly cute. Olives, they always have olives, but it had a little pickle. I like little pickles. I got a tiny pickle. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> and then there was a little white thing. Well, I, I don't know what it was. I thought it was a parsnip. I enjoyed it. It felt like the right blend of a little bit of spice, a little bit of food. I think this is kind of mid-level for mm -hmm. us and for our taste, but mm -hmm. it was really good. So we didn't order any food. When we got there, the kitchen was closing. Kitchen and was closing. Menu looks great. The place was packed. It was packed. It so was, they yeah. must be doing something right. So if you're looking for a fairly standard Bloody Mary in a rooftop vibe atmosphere, this is a great place to go to get it. And no kids. Oh yeah, just like the Virgin Voyage. It's a good empty nester spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No kids. F them kids. <laughs> you don't say that. So next we went to a place called Jerry's Bar and it was in Northern Liberties, which is like a neighborhood a little bit north of where we were. A little bit just, north of just, Center City. Just a little bit north of Center City. So we walked in, they had a little jazz duo mm -hmm. playing, which was very nice. We go and sit in the patio. I would call it patio. Yeah, yeah enclosed sure. patio. Mm -hmm. um, and the good thing about Jerry's Bar is that they had a lot of Bloody Marys on the menu. I think maybe five? Maybe five, yeah. You got, I guess, the signature? Yeah. Bloody Mary? Bloody Jerry? The Bloody Jerry. The Bloody Jerry. Yeah. Um, Which sounds unfortunate. I hope he's okay. Yeah, he was fine. Yeah, yeah, I think fine. he was fine. Mm -hmm. but it was basically vodka, Bloody Mary mix, Old Bay on the mm -hmm. rim, mm -hmm. and a big old scrim. Yeah, and a big scrim. What'd you think? It was good. I wasn't wowed. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. Yep. But I had two Bloody Marys. So before we get to your second one, because <laughs> you don't know how to act, I had the Bloody Buffalo. The Bloody Buffalo has vodka, mm -hmm. hot sauce, mm -hmm. Blue cheese olives. Yes. And beef jerky. Yeah, yeah. Once I saw blue cheese stuffed olives and beef jerky, I had tunnel vision. I absolutely loved this one. I thought it was really, really good. I would go back for this. I like I like that one a lot. Yeah. All right, and now since you don't know how to act, you had decided to have a second Bloody Mary. They had so many choices. I can't just leave them there. So my second one was Bloody Dragon. The Bloody Dragon just had the, the cucumber. Mm. And it was jalapeno infused gin instead of vodka. Mm. And the Bloody Mary mix. But it was but interesting. It, it was good, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. The flavor was good. But then on top of the drinks, mm -hmm. we also got a hummus plate mm -hmm. that was absolutely wonderful. A hummus trio. It was a hummus trio. So it had regular hummus, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. black bean hummus, mm -hmm. beet puree. Yes in a cornucopia of vegetables. And the little crunchy vegetables kind of complemented the drinks. Yep, it was good. 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 But yeah, Jerry's Bar, good spot, we like. Yeah. So the next one on the list is another place that's in the same neighborhood, Northern Liberties, mm -hmm. Standard Tap. Yes. Now this is a place that I'm familiar with. It's mm -hmm. definitely like the quintessential Philadelphia colonial architecture with details. It had a skylight and then like an old phone booth. Yeah, but there was no phone in it. A lot of steps though. So with that, they seated us upstairs mm -hmm. and uh, we ordered the Bloody Marys. Yeah. Just one Bloody Mary at this place. Yes. Not a cornucopia of Bloody Marys. Not a cornucopia. And this Bloody Mary is vodka, but they have their own house-made Bloody Mary mix. Yes. It's also a big old celery stick you gotta fight, and uh, pickled vegetables, olives, and smoked paprika, and salt on the rim. Yeah. Which we took one sip. And we were like, ooh, this is really yeah, good. Yeah, we're like, oh. like, really, really good. Yeah, very flavorful. This was definitely one of the best Bloody Marys we had no. on this excursion. Yes. And then, uh, you know, we had some food to round this out as well. And, and, you know, let's keep it 100. Like, we did hammer five, six Bloody Marys in one day. Like, we shot this over the course of two days. Yeah, we did two days. You know, we had to pace ourselves. But that Bloody Mary at the Standard Tap was wonderful. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, highly recommend it. And with that, Standard Tap was our was our last destination on mm -hmm. this uh, mm -hmm. on this Bloody Mary Valentine. I think uh, our least favorite 
and correct me if I'm wrong, is probably the urban farm. Yeah, so that would be number five out of the five places that we went. Very nice place. Food was good, service was nice, but the Bloody Mary is uh, not spicy, not very exciting. If, yeah. you're, if you're looking for a starter Bloody Mary, if you've never had one before, that might be the one to, yeah, to, yeah. to jump onto, but not necessarily our taste. Yes. Number four, I think, for us is going to be Attica. The environment was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a nice space, but the Bloody Mary, it was good. It was good. It was, mm -hmm. it was definitely a step up. Had a little more flavor to it, a little more nom nom on top. Solid, solid Bloody Mary mm -hmm. and, and a great place to hang out. Yes. And number three on our list is Jerry's Bar. Yeah, yeah. Jerry's Bar had a bunch of Bloody Marys. If you want to try a number of Bloody Mary styles all at one place, yeah, Jerry's Bar is your place. Place to be. Yeah. Definitely the place to be. And if yeah. you want a banging hummus plate. <laughs> and Everybody wants a banging hummus plate. With a cornucopia of vegetables. <laughs> go to Jerry's. Really solid, mm -hmm. solid Bloody Marys. And then number two was definitely Standard Tap. Yeah. yeah. Standard Tap's Bloody Mary was superior and i think it really comes down to that house made bloody mary mix yeah there's a the, the mix is the thing there was just a blend of flavors happening there yeah. that i don't necessarily know if we tasted that anywhere yeah yeah no standard tap mm -hmm. solid bloody mary and then number one number one number one drum roll well there's only one left there's only one left. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler. It was, it was Booker's. Yeah, and Booker's we just kind of threw on this list, mm -hmm. and um, we were just blown away yeah. with this loaded Bloody Mary. It, it was a meal unto itself. And it was spicy. And it was and spicy. And it was thick. And it was thick. And it was a place that we really liked being in. Yeah. So. The jams were great. It was spicy. It was thick. And we was dancing. Yeah, we were dancing. <laughs> just like college. Spicy, thick, or dancing? All the above. <laughs> All the above. So Morgan, I hope you liked our little Bloody Mary Valentine adventure. Yes. Uh, and I hope everybody else enjoyed it as well. If uh, you know if there's things out there that you do for date night or Valentine's Day, certainly let us know in the comments. And also, you know, like, subscribe, comment. Mm -hmm. um, All those Morgan, I don't think you've subscribed yet, so. It's rude it's at a, this point. I'm on the fence at this point <laughs> about sending any more Amazon packages until until that gets straightened out. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time we decide to leave the nest. Yeah. Bye. Bye. There's like a little harmony there. Yeah. Bye, 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 bye. bye. bye.